her letters, she uses a regular typewriter. She is fast and accurate. But she has Polly check her letters. Being blind, she cannot permit herself the casual mistakes of the scene. If there are mistakes, Helen types the letter again. of a buzzer, Helen knows when it is time for lunch. The glint of crystals is the one thing Helen thinks she remembers seeing as a baby before she went blind. among her greatest pleasures. Helen's home is not a sad place because she is not a sad woman. She's extraordinarily gay. She goes toward each new experience with the joy of a child. On weekdays, there are only three for lunch. Helen and Polly, and Anne, who comes in to help them with the housework. Their days are too full for social engagements. But at tea time, they relax and catch up with their personal mail. Friends may come in. may turn to politics or world affairs. Helen has strong views on these and she has the courage to express them even when they are not popular. She also likes a good story and appreciates a joke as much as anyone else. So they spend their days when they are at home.